The Commission on Elections investigating controversies hounding the midterm polls. The poll body is seeking help from concerned authorities to shed light on viral videos showing alleged poll fraud. Our Paolo Barcelona joins us live from Pasay City. Paolo, what's the latest? Well, Ruth, just like what you mentioned, the COMELEC is set to seek for forensic analysis and help from the proper authorities to determine the authenticity of a viral video circulating online showing alleged poll fraud. One of the videos shows a woman uh, shading ballots in batches, while another shows a person signing the ballots. This, as many are still seeking answers regarding glitches during the elections. COMELEC spokesperson James Jimenez says it's best for the owner of the video to come forward to speed up the investigation of the case. Bagaman, meron ng isang, ano doon, may isang video na nagpapakita na para siya pong ipirma, the question still remains. Kung yun lang ginagawa niya, bakit doon niya lang pinipirmahan? May marka na yung balota. Hindi ba? At saka bakit yung mga balotang may marka, pare-pareho ang marka. So even then, I mean, again, even if that's what they're doing, that's still very suspicious activity. So kailangan talagang maklarify natin ano ba yung video na yun, saan, sino gumawa, etc. Meanwhile, the poll body has granted the request of its citizen arm, the Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting, or the PPCRV, to open the audit logs for the transparency server. This should help determine the cause of the seven-hour delay in the release of election results from the COMELEC to the transparency server on Monday. Our IT team will be going to work uh, over the weekend so that we can uh, analyze po the logs. Um, for those who are not technical, ang logs po ang ibig sabihin nun ay isasabihin lang sa atin uh, kung ano yung nangyari sa makina during the May 13 uh, evening po. Right now, Ruth, the National Board of Canvassers is still waiting for 40 certificates of canvas to finish the official tally of votes for the senatorial and party list candidates. The board has just declared a half-hour break shortly before we went on the air, and they will be canvassing COCs from the United Kingdom, Bulacan, Cagayan, Davao Occidental, Western Samar, and Iloilo. The, na or the last numbers we've got so far, Ruth, came from last night which uh, totals 89 COCs. All in all, the COMELEC has received 127 out of 167 COCs. Ruth? Uh, Paula, I just want to know with the rate that the canvassing uh, is going right now, are they sticking with their earlier statement that they could probably proclaim new senators by Monday? Well, Ruth, the COMELEC has earlier said that they will be sticking with the schedule of the proclamation by Monday. That's because the COMELEC says it's already preparing for the proclamation of senatorial race winners. There will also be a separate announcement of successful party list bets or party list bets this amid calls of a priest to suspend the proclamation of winners for alleged poll fraud. Ruth? Paulo Barcelon there reporting. Early morning Thursday, this group of fishermen in Barangay Bangan, Botolan, Zambales are looking out to the sea, wondering when they can finally cast their nets again. Since May 8, many residents have been unable to go fishing after an oil spill from a dredging vessel docked in their shores. Bonifacio Correa sailed for two hours earlier but only got a handful of krills. <laughs> Kasi pag ano, lumulutang ko talaga yan. Kapag? Pag yung wala siguro yung ano, dahil naamoy din siguro nila, kaya hindi sila ano, ano sa ibabaw. In the initial inspection, DNR Central Luzon found out the vessel has been here since March 30. But big waves hit the vessel, toppling down drums of used oil. Its crew are allegedly Chinese nationals. Coast Guard officials already took samples of the oil from the ship to confirm if diesel found in Botolan waters had indeed come from here before taking appropriate legal action. We went near the vessel earlier and spotted the crew member. But he didn't say much, gesturing that he could not speak English. Excuse me, can we talk to someone? Are you a crew? Traces of the oil spill are visible in the water and mixes in the air too. We're just a few meters away from the dredging vessel, and from this point, the water still reeks of oil. The local government says they were only made aware of the vessel's presence when the oil spill happened. 
walang nagpapaalam sa amin eh. Tapos nga nang inutusan ko ang aming task force na magtanong kung bakit sila nandyan, kung ano ang documents nila, walang kumausap sa kanila at panay sabi no English. But the vessel's Filipino handler says they just had to do an emergency docking. Kaya naka ano yung ano dyan dito, nakalapit yung uh, dredging pipe. Gawa ng yung ang uh, angkor namin hindi umaabot dito sa ano kasi itong barko na to design for ano lang ma'am uh, maliliit na tubig talaga river mga bay ma'am ganun coastal He also said the vessel's Chinese owner just ordered them to stand by here They had come from a dredging project in Subic He said they were taking sand from Kalakalan River A barge takes it to a mother ship but he had no idea of its final destination They showed the certificate of non-coverage to Coast Guard and Environment officials. It was for an emergency flood mitigation project in Olongapo City. Meanwhile, the local government confirms an ongoing desilting project by a different vessel in Botolan approved by the provincial government. The mayor says it hauls sand from Zambales to a reclamation project in Singapore. Officials say they aim to remove the vessel from Zambales shores as soon as possible. From Zambales, Carolyn Bonkin, CNN Philippines. A man seeking help in an apparent road rage caught on video in Pasay City on Tuesday. In this viral video making the rounds online, a man was seen throwing punches to another driver in a designated parking area of a condominium along Metro Bank Avenue. According to the uploader who asked not to be identified, the man in white shirt loses his pool after this driver blew his horn on him, apparently as a warning. The victim, a company driver, says he was attempting to make a turn at the time. But instead of giving way, the assailant got off his vehicle and things got out of control. <laughs> The man was furious. He punched and choked him several times while the victim, seemingly shocked, stayed on his seat. In the video, he was also heard shouting and belittling the driver. The man also threatened the driver and bragged about his connections. The victim now fears for his life and is seeking legal advice. He's still clueless on the identity of the other driver. CNN Philippines tried to reach authorities for comment on the video, but they have yet to respond to our request. We are also open to hearing the side of the story of the other driver caught in the video.